My people of San Fernando and Trinidad and Tobago, the time has come. The moment is near. Victory is within our reach. And freedom is once again with us. The People's Partnership is about to be born as the next government of Trinidad and Tobago. And the leader of that government will be Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bisesa, who has been at the hand of the People's Partnership. Why it is that Mr. Manning could not continue to preside over the prosperity of our land. Our people are in a state of deep concern. You are here, have already passed the threshold. I speak to all those who are not here. Come with us, join with us in the new history that we shall be making in Trinidad and Tobago within the next three weeks. And tonight, in a few moments before me, I would like to spare a few thoughts with you on the state of our economy. I have stopped criticizing Mr. Madden because I intend to put my energy in building Trinidad and Tobago. In my own life in public affairs, I have never given up hope in the fate of our people, in the desires of our nation to become a model nation in this world of ours. Today, what is the choice before us? By any indicators, our government has failed. So the choice before our nation today is whether they want to go back to bad governance or they want to develop the prospect of good governance under the people's partnership. That is the choice. So my friends, in El Dorado, about 10 days ago, in preparation for government, I announced that a team of high-level economists under the chairmanship of Dr. Patrick Watson, a professor of applied economics at the university, will commission a work on the state of the economy. The report of that commission was of that committee was given to me today and we shall there are many underlying weaknesses which have to be addressed if Trinidad and Tobago economy is to become sustainable and resilient because the trends are all in the wrong direction and it is left to the people's partnership to change those directions to restore confidence in our people in the economic future that is why in Tunapuna today, when I was interviewed by the press about what I intend to bring to the people of Tunapuna, they hinted, what can you deliver? I said to them, all I can deliver is honest and sincere representation on behalf of the people of Tunapuna.